Hey agents and welcome to Shadow Gaming. Subscribe and like if you enjoy the content. We got the daily target loot allocation for July 22nd, 2020. Let's get this started with the Dark Zones. We got Seska SRO at DZ West. We got Giligar at DZ South and Gloves at DZ East. The only thing I can recommend today if you really want to go get it is the Death Grips. Otherwise, let's get started with the target loot in DC. Highlights for the north side, we got Fenris Group AB at Camp White Oak, Knee Pads at Coney Island Amusement Park, and Walker Harrison Co. at Manning National Zoo. If you're looking for the Chain Killer, I'd go check out Manning National Zoo. And for Coney Island Amusement Park, I'd check out the Fox's Prayer Knee Pads, Ninja Bike Messenger Knee Pads, or the Sawyer's Knee Pads. And of course, Fenris Group AB at Camp White Oak, if you're looking for any 10% assault rifle for that one piece. And that's pretty much it. If you're running assault rifles on primary, that's what I would go with. I'd always run one piece Fenris. All right, highlights for the west side. We got gloves at Federal Emergency Bunker. We got shotguns at Downtown West. Submachine guns at Bank Headquarters and assault rifles at DCD. Providence Defense at Constitutional Hall and gear sets at Roosevelt Island. And we got rifles at Tidal Basin. Grupo Sombra at the Pentagon and holsters at DARPA. If you're looking for the Imperial Dynasty or the Forge, which just got buffed to 50% shield health, check that out at DARPA. Grupo Sombra at the Pentagon if you need that for a DPS build with one piece, two piece for a skill build for explosives damage. Gear sets at Roosevelt Island, you can get anything except for uh, Foundry Bulwark and Future Initiative chest and backpack pieces. Assault rifles at DCD if you're looking for top tier assault rifles like the P416s, the Moss, Police M4s. All that good stuff. And of course, the Chameleon, I'd run DCD headquarters. Providence Defense for those three piece for DPS builds. Of course, you can get the headshot damage, create a chance, and create a damage for all three pieces. Gloves over here at Federal Emergency Bunker. It's an outcast mission, but you can still get the BTSU gloves and, of course, the contractor's gloves. And submachine guns at bank headquarters if you're looking for the Lady Death or you're refarming the Chatterbox or if you're farming with a friend or group member, they can always drop the Chatterbox for you if they've gotten it already. And shotguns in downtown west if you're looking for the sweet dreams or a good like military a uh, m870 and of course murakami industries at white house if you need that's 10 percent skill duration in fact a couple pieces of murakami isn't bad either all right highlights for the east side we got golan gear at grand wash 10 hotel overlord at district union arena we got rifles again at judiciary square and china light at viewpoint museum honey you at east mall and richter and kaiser at american history Mass at Capitol Building, and Murakami again at Jefferson Plaza. That's about it. Murakami, of course, like I said, I'd farm that at Jefferson Plaza over the White House. Mass at Capitol Building if you need Coyote's Mask or you're refarming the Vile Mask after you got it from the Season Track Rewards. Haunt at you, of course, for that 10% skill haze from the One Piece, and Richter and Kaiser for the, uh, I believe it's 10 or 20% incoming repairs for the One Piece. China Light for explosive skill builds and rifles like the classic M1A. The best talents on that is Boomerang, I think, by far. Of course, Rifleman is another great one if you can consistently hit, hit uh, headshots. And then, of course, you can get Diamondback and the Merciless from Target Loot Rifles and Golan Gear for 10% status effects at Grand Watch 10 Hotel. And Overlord, if you just want any pieces of Overlord or if you need the Fox's Prayer knee pads and you'd rather farm. Uh, district union instead of coney island amusement park all right let's check out new york city and then i'll let you guys go we got china light at the tombs wyvernware at civic center light machine guns at two bridges and golong gear at stranded tanker petrov at pathway park and marksman rifles at battery park sokolo concern at financial district alp summit at wall street and holsters at liberty island you could get the imperial dynasty and forge from liberty island instead of the uh, darpa i believe it was that's up to you I believe they fixed Keener being invulnerable basically in this mission. I ran into that bug a lot, but I haven't confirmed it's fixed. But I guess they did at Liberty Island, so that's good. Makes the mission a little bit more farmable. If you're looking for the Bullet King or Pestilence or Good Times named machine gun, you can check out Two Bridges. And of course, Wyvernware at Civic Center if you need that 10% skill damage. And then of course, China Light and Golong Gear. Now, if you want to farm these in uh, the tombs or stranded tanker instead of in DC, you can. Otherwise, it's all up to you guys. And of course, Petrov if you want uh, contractor's gloves. But I'd rather farm gloves instead of Petrov for contractor's gloves. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for the daily target loot allocation for July 22nd. This is Shadow Gaming. Subscribe and like if you enjoy the content. I'll see you guys in the next video.